What is going on, guys? Your boy Joey Shakes up to come, guys, with a video right now. So I want to talk about obviously free agency, certain players that we do need at certain positions. We talked about the trenches a little bit. We talked about receiver. That's probably gonna be a big need for the offense. But going defense in free agency is not one of my biggest plans. But definitely bring in a piece or two, whether it is the defensive line. Or it could be at safety. At safety is one of the biggest spots just because Anthony Harris is gone. Uh, was a one-year deal. And Roddy McLeod is gone as well. Okay, now, I don't know if they're going to bring one of these guys back. If, if I'm going to bring somebody back, it's Roddy McLeod, if that's the case. And really behind that, you have Marcus Epps, which he, I think he's a really good role-playing player. I think he works good in a system. I don't think he's great. I don't think he's bad. I just think he works pretty well when some when certain things are surrounded. So I, I like Marcus Epps a little bit. You know, he's, he's very up and down, but, you know, I think in a good system he'll play well. And behind that's Kevon Wallace, all talk, no play. Hasn't worked out for us, mostly a special teams player. So if you go out in free agency, Jabril Peppers is definitely the number, you know, a, a guy that's going to be a free agent from the Giants. Depending if the Giants are going to resign him, I have no idea. If you guys remember, the Giants did acquire Jabril Peppers in that big Cleveland Browns trade when they traded Odell to Cleveland at the time a few years back, uh, whatever it was. Um, but Jabril Peppers got leadership quality, uh, can cover the field very well. He's a good safety, a really good safety. Um, and the Eagles just need somebody. I think the Eagles are going to sign a free agent safety, whether they um, you know trade for a safety or they go after a guy like Jabril Peppers. I'm, I'm totally fine with that. There's no issue with signing a guy like this. Probably will be good, you know, it'll be a good payday uh, for Peppers, but at the same time, you know, it's an empty spot. And the Eagles, you know, I don't know if they're going after a Kyle Hamilton in this draft. I don't know if they're, you know, going to move up in this draft to go get him. I feel like they're going to have to move up to go get him. I don't think Kyle Hamilton's going to be there at 15 or 16. He will, but it's a long shot at the end of the day, which for Jabril Peppers to be a free agent, um, I think the Eagles will have some, you know, he's 26 years old. He's young. He's very young. So going to just going, get going to get in his prime and, um, you know, you could sign him for a good amount of time. Could move around the field, could play multiple spots if hat, if have to, especially when he was in Cleveland, he did that. Um, you know, how kind of having that Malcolm Jenkins piece to your defense, but at the same time, um, you know, uh, having stability at that position because you cannot, uh, the back end of your defense needs to be good. Um, depending if, you know, a big run happens or gets in front of a cornerback and he's you know, going to get that home run catch. You got to have a guy back there that's going to protect it and then obviously get turnovers. So um, I think this would be a really good free agent signing. There has been some interest lurking about the Eagles looking at this, but we'll see down the road what happens. Other than that, um, we have Brian Johnson, you know, the quarterback coach for the Eagles that obviously him and Jalen Hurts have a lot of uh, connections with. Um, you know, um, so it looks like Brian Johnson uh, could have an interview for the offensive coordinator job for um, the Packers, which is interesting. And, and actually, it's it's really not, it, you know, I think teams are looking at Brian Johnson and kind of saying, you know, look how he's developing Jalen Hurts. I, and I know that Jalen Hurts has flaws and I know that, it, you know, he has gotten better from the beginning of the season till now, um, but still has, you know, still has flaws, still making mistakes. But I think they're trying to bring in um, Brian Johnson for the Packers offense, kind of saying that Jordan Love is going to take the reins over uh, for the Packers and maybe sees how Brian Johnson is using uh, Jalen Hurts and, and how much better he's gotten, um, you know, I guess to them of how better he's gotten. And then thinking about Brian Johnson, you know, kind of coaching Jordan Love and, um, you know, putting him in the right position to win football games and, know maybe they think that he could do that for him so i have no idea um i don't know if he's gonna get hired or not like like i said this is the beginning of what's going on so i mean we'll see what happens but it should be interesting should be really interesting so brian johnson could be gone so um which would be a big shot you know hurts probably you know obviously then the eagles have to get another quarterback coach so i don't know what's gonna happen there but uh we'll figure it out but other than that guy's pretty much it so you got your real peppers free agent eagles have a little interest see what happens what happens with that we have no safeties. The Eagles should at least – they have to pay somebody. They have really have no choice but to go. And you're ha you have money finally, so you got to spend something on a player for the future for a four- or five-year contract if that's the case. And then you have Brian Johnson that could be the coordinator for the Packers. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers could be leaving. So, you know, could be a nice little thing for Brian Johnson to go to another team and you know, coach up Jordan Love and put him in, the good po in a good position, um, you know, to ex you know extend his skill set and use him the right way. Uh, for the future of the Packers, and obviously, like I said before, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if Aaron Rodgers is coming back. So, 
Uh, we'll see what happens. But other than that, guys, let me leave, leave a comment in the comment section below. I will see you guys later. Enjoy your weekend. Chicks, what up? Follow us live. Peace out, guys. Peace.